Tim Sheaf has gone back to eating animals, plus some good news. If you want to optimise your health or sports performance without harming animals or the environment, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified of new uploads. And so after a few more weeks, months of going back to vegan and not feeling right again and having that thought in my head, what if there is something within when I had those animal products, I made the choice to go back to consuming animal products again. Just a quick video today, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Don't worry everyone, I'm not gonna eat anything weird like lion's legs. I kind of knew this was coming. I feel like he was trying to manipulate his audience in preparation a few weeks back. May he who is without sin cast the first stone. It's been in my head a lot lately. I'm done throwing stones. <laughs> I'm done throwing stones. Working on removing judgment. And that is not for any one of us to tell any other what choices they should make to tread lightly. I'm telling you to don't tell anyone. <laughs> I can't tell you that, but uh, you know, the way I'm seeing it, so that's what it's about. We don't throw stones at each other. We don't tell each other. He's priming everyone that we shouldn't be judgmental. I think what he was really saying was, please don't throw stones at me when I let you know my decision. Like Gary Yurovsky said, there are two types of people those that judge and those that lie about judging. We judge rapists, we judge child molesters. I don't want to be too harsh on Tim. I wonder whether he just didn't truly make an emotional connection about the plight of the animals. Not that I subjected myself to too much of this, but I certainly never saw him at a save, never heard him speak about watching slaughterhouse footage. I wonder whether he truly just didn't really properly get it. From my perspective as a nutritionist, his reasoning is complete horse I'd like to know what is this magical nutrient that we can only get from dead flesh. From my understanding, save for B12 from bacteria and vitamin D from the sun, all essential nutrients come from plants or are made by animals, such as humans, from plant precursors. I'm convinced that there's more to this than just nutrition and physical health. I wonder whether there's some hidden positive intention behind Tim's actions that even he can't see. He certainly didn't try everything in his power to make veganism work. He went to the effort of getting free gut health testing kits from YouTuber Goji Man, which likely showed him what all his problems were. And then, as far as I can tell, he didn't do anything about it. If I'm correct, that kind of me off a little bit because I'm a patron of Goji Man and the money that I and others pay to fund those tests could have gone to help someone else who actually wants to get their health in order. I really hope that Tim doesn't throw veganism under the bus now and doing all of his past work. Crazy like this won't help. The, the first night after I had that salmon, I had a wet dream. I hadn't ejaculated in months. Not that I wanted to hear about this in the first place, but some context would have been good, i.e. has he not engaged in sexual activity for the past few months, in which case, what do you expect? Or does he suspect that he has hormone issues caused by his diet. Rest assured the Joe Rogans among you, vegans do not need to ingest cholesterol to form an opinion, nor do we need to ingest it to form testosterone. We make all the cholesterol we need from plant precursors. Anyway, the one good thing to come out of all of this is that conscious living clothing company Ethics has been able to drop Tim from the team. Although Tim was the founder back in the day when it was Ethics and Antics, he now no longer works for the company, nor makes any profit from it. The company is run by vegans, for vegans, and I'm excited to announce that I'm becoming a brand ambassador. Let's all get behind ethics and make it the next Nike. A Nike that puts people, animals, and the planet first. Who's with me?